Hey guys, welcome to another Excel tutorial video from Scott Gardner Technical Services. Before we continue, if you would please indulge me for just a few moments, I would like you to let you know that you can become a patron so you can support this channel. And for just a couple of bucks a month, you can become a supporter. What you get for that is I will answer your questions same day instead of now. If you ask questions in the comments, it can take quite some time to get them answered. I will answer your questions same day with customized video answers to your questions. So for just a couple of bucks a month, you can hit me up anytime you want and get same day answers to all your questions with videos customized to you and your question. So check out the link in the description of this video and at the bottom of the screen and become a patron and support what I do for just a couple of bucks a month. What we're going to learn today is we're going to learn how to use a couple of Excel formulas, functions, sorry, to choose a random item from a list. So the example that I use is in this video is let's say you are choosing the draft order for your fantasy football draft. Okay. And here you have the list of players from A2 to A9. And we are going to put the choice here. So we're using a combination of two functions. We're using the index function and the rand between function. So first off, the index function, what it does is it tells us the cells that we want to use in our range. So you can see it says equals index open bracket A2 colon A9. And you can see that our players are listed from A2 to A9. Now, the second function is rand between. And what that is going to do is it's going to choose a random number between the ranges of 1 and 8. And you might say, why 1 and 8 when the players' names are listed in 2 to 9? Well, this isn't referring to the cells. This is referring to how many entries we have. So if we count, Steve is 1, Bill is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we have eight entries. Okay. So basically let's break this down. So it's going to look in the range of cells between A2 and A9. It's going to give us a random number between one and eight and choose from the list. So let's say, for example, rand between gives us the number five. Which player would that give us? Well, let's count down. Steve is 1, Bill is 2, Tom is 3, Dave is 4, Linda is 5. So the number 5 between 1 and 8 would give us Linda. All right, so there's our formula entered. Okay, you can see when we click on in the cell, the range gets highlighted. So we know that we have the right range selected. Okay, so let's hit enter to submit our formula and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we get Tammy's name. All right, so since we got Tammy's name, which random number between one and eight do you think was generated? All right, let's see what number Tammy is. So Steve one, Bill two, Tom three, Dave four, Linda five, Tammy six. Okay, so Tammy's name was generated by the random number generator generating the number six from between one and eight. All right, so let's say that we need another name now. All right, all we have to do is hit F9 to refresh and to run the formula again. And now it gives us Tom. So that would be between one and eight, that would be number three, as Tom is the third number in the list. And as you are, um, so this is not a great example because there is the possibility that some, somebody's number could be generated more than once. And obviously you would have to go on to the next one, but it's just an example to show you how you can use a random number generator to generate from a list of entries, a particular entry in a row or column. If you have any questions, please let me know. 
in the comments. Remember, it might take me a while to get to the comments, but if you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com slash sgtech. And for as little as a few dollars a month, you can support the show or support the channel, sorry. And you can get same day answers to your questions with video examples. You can even get Skype calls, uh, WhatsApp calls if you need extra help. So check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day, everybody.